Welcome to used truck dealer Walker Movements, who have one of the largest selection of used trucks in all of Europe. I'm here today to talk about the Volvo FM 8x4 Tipper. Volvos can be found all over the world, working in a huge variety of conditions from ordinary construction sites to enormous underground mines, where the Tipper chassis of choice is the FM. Launched as a smaller version of the bigger FH cab, the FM is a more spacious version of the narrow FL. Initially, it shared many of the attributes of the FH, but over the years has developed its own identity and purpose, and is now available as a tipper, rigid, and tractor unit. Throughout its life, the Volvo FM has been available with a range of power outputs from 9, 11, or 13 litre engines. Outputs have varied from 330 horsepower to as much as 500, but in the UK, the most popular engines have always been those between 440 horsepower and 460. While some early Euro 4 models were available as non-AdBlue EGR models, the majority since have required the additional fluids. If you have any questions about AdBlue or the various engine options of the FM, the sales team at Walker Movements are extremely knowledgeable and always happy to help. But I'm going to talk you around this Volvo FM Globetrotter 8x4 Tipper. This is a 2013 model FM with double drive rear axles, Globetrotter sleeper cab and aluminium insulated body. It has an air operated tailgate, sheeting system within cab controls and Volvo's famous iShift semi-automatic gearbox. The Volvo FM is known for the choice in its range with day cabs, low roof sleepers, regular sleepers and globe trotters like this one. Now this is the standard globe trotter but there's also a larger XL model. Euro 5 vehicles like this also got a redesigned grille and new headlights. They also altered the interior but before I get to that let me tell you about the body on this particular truck. Now this has an aluminium insulated body, which is a specialist bit of kit used for moving asphalt. More common would be a steel body, which are used for heavy duty items like moving aggregates. They're quite common in this country and if you do want one of those, Walker Movements will have no problem in sourcing you one. Walker Movements has this sort of truck in stock all the time, with similar specification and mileage to this one. While every truck is different, the sales staff here know what to look for in a good quality used truck. So let's see what this one is like on the road. All the Volvo sleeper cabs of this age did have rather a large engine hump in it, which is 430 mil high. Sounds like a lot, and I suppose it is because you can't get over to the other side of the cab all that well, but you can easily get up onto the bunk. But having that tunnel there does make it feel like a really driver-focused cockpit. You've got a curved dash, and the switches on it are also really great. They're so robust and strong, you really couldn't break one of those. It's done over 600,000 kilometers, this truck. And look, everything is in perfect working order, not even lost any of the markings on it. It just shows how well built Volvos are. In terms of storage, there's lots of flat surfaces and places to put things. There's a nice tray there, another one here with some cup holders, a little storage box in there. We've got cubbies here and there. But because this is the high roof sleeper, we've got overhead compartments there and the same again on the back wall, which is, gives you loads and loads of space. This is a Volvo FM 8x4. Now, I'm sure you know what 8x4 is, but for those that don't, let me explain. It means that the rear two axles are the driven wheels. So you can have an 8x2 with two driven wheels or an 8x4 with four driven wheels. Also, in some situations, you might want all the wheels driven, but that's for really tough stuff. But what it does mean, 8x4, if you get into a sticky situation, you're gonna be able to get out of it a bit better. They work in quarries, they work on construction sites. It can be a bit boggy, a bit tricky, you might need that extra grunt from the, uh, from the driven wheels. Also, this has twin rear steering, which is great for maneuverability. So, as you see, you go into a corner, you turn the wheel, and the front steers, as well as that middle axle, that second axle back, is turning with us. It helps narrow the turning circle, it means you can go into really tight spaces and turn around even sharper. Now, this truck has the iShift automatic gearbox. Typically, drivers used to want a manual transmission in a tipper. But actually, increasingly, they've been finding semi-autos do the job just as well. Because most of the time, you can drive around in an automatic, and then when you really need to, you can change to a manual just by using the stalk here. Walker Movements carefully selects all of its trucks from a range of UK operators, rental leasing firms, and specialist agents. They buy all their trucks for stock, which means they're confident of their quality, and they know that they're going to appeal to their buyers. 
If you're a UK customer, Walker Movements will test the truck and get it ready for the road. But if you're buying from overseas, they're able to do all the paperwork and ship it to any port in the world. They've got years of experience in selling trucks here and it really shows in the sort of vehicles on offer. Their experienced mechanics carry out visual inspections on every truck and they're then professionally valeted inside and out. I think the Volvo FM makes a really good tipper truck. It's tough, durable and it's going to last you a really long time. If this aluminium body is a little bit too specialist, Walker Movements will be able to find you one that's more suitable. I've actually got my eye on the FMX, the ultra tough off-road version. If you want to see more of the great range of trucks on offer at Walker Movements, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more videos and fantastic used truck deals.